Hi there. Science is what makes mankind try to find answers to all the questions of the universe, the structure of our universe, and ourselves. However, to this day there are many mysteries, the solution of which is incomprehensible to either a famous researcher or an experienced scientist. One of the most mysterious natural phenomena is called the Tao's hum. The phenomenon manifests itself as low frequency sounds that are heard by residents of Taos, New Mexico. This noise is reminiscent of traffic on a distant road or the roar of an airplane engine, but neither of those sources is near the anomalous zone. Research on the phenomenon began back in 1987, but scientists still have not been able to find out what exactly is the source of the hum and why, in general, such sound waves form. The Bermuda Triangle the Bermuda Triangle, probably the most controversial and curious stretch of water on the planet, is found in the North Atlantic off the coast of Florida and stretches to a loosely defined area around Bermuda and Puerto Rico. As you no doubt know, it's got a spooky reputation as the setting for numerous mysterious disappearances of boats and airplanes. Over the years, research has offered up various possibilities for some of these events. Temperamental and unpredictable weather in the region, the sheer volume of craft in the area, it's one of the busiest routes in the world. However, conspiracy theorists the world over tend to prefer the paranormal or extraterrestrial explanations for these disappearances. On January 22, 2010, Australian meteorologists noticed strange disks in the sky above Melbourne. The luminous rings of their satellite radar were not like anything they'd ever seen before. Disks span an area of tens of thousands of square miles across Australia, and the abnormal state of the atmosphere resembled an alien invasion, but what it really was, scientists couldn't say. However, as are the events that occurred after this phenomenon. Prior to this, the whole country experienced one of the most protracted droughts in history, and meteorological calculations did not pretend precipitation. But after this phenomenon, Melbourne survived one of the worst storms in its history accompanied by hail and heavy torrential downpours. Speaking of peculiar disappearances in ships, one of the most famous tales is that of the Mary Celeste. As the Smithsonian reports, the doomed ship was found on December 5, 1872, 400 miles east of the Azores. A boarding party from the De Gracia found that the ship's only lifeboat was missing and one of its two pumps had been disassembled. Three and a half feet of water was sloshing in the ship's bottom through the cargo of 1,701 barrels of industrial alcohol was largely intact. There was a six month supply of food and water, but not a soul to consume it. It's almost 140 years since that day, and while many possibilities have been offered, nobody can say for sure exactly what happened to the crew. Feeling of deja vu. We've all experienced the odd feeling of deja vu before. It's that tingle that you can't quite put your finger on, that sense that you've definitely had a particular conversation or been to a particular place before. You can't really define it, and you certainly can't predict it, but you always recognize it immediately when you feel it. Science is at a loss to explain deja vu, but there are all manner of spiritual theories, and a popular one is that we're getting the briefest glimpse of one of our past lives. Sandy Island is an island in the Pacific Ocean that has disappeared in a completely mysterious way. For more than a decade, a piece of land was noted on the World Sea Charts, and was also included in the Google Navigation Base. Once Australian scientists went on a journey to study plate tectonics. However, having arrived at their destination, they did not find anything because the islands were not in place. Where did they go? How and when did this happen, and did it even exist? No one knows the answer to these questions yet. Atlantis is in Japan. There are few geographical legends as popular as Atlantis, an island first mentioned in Plato's works. Supposed real-world locations for it are still discussed today. Perhaps a mysterious site at Yonagunijima, Japan is the key. According to scientists, a diver happened upon a series of formations of stones down there, which had been submerged for around 2,000 years. They were first suggested to be naturally forming, but it's unlikely as they're very neat and angular. The current belief is that they're the remains of an ancient city around 5,000 years old that was submerged by an earthquake. This is generally accepted, but there's no proof for that. The Tunguska event. This intimidating event took place on June 30th, 1908 near Siberia's Podkamenia Tunguska River. 
According to scientists, the fireball came streaking towards the ground, exploding about four miles above the surface of the Earth. It sent a concussive shock for miles around, knocking people back from 40 miles away. The strangest thing is that object left nary a trace behind for an analysis, and no crater as an asteroid or meteorite would. Raining animals. According to scientists, though, this happens much more often than you might think. Frogs, tadpoles, spiders, fish, eels, snakes, and worms have all been recorded as raining from the sky, and so has raw meat, one bizarre night in Kentucky in 1876. The major theory for this is said that animals were carried throughout the air by tornadoes or the like, but there's no recorded evidence of this ever being witnessed. The Hestalen Light Since the early 1940s, Norway's Hestalen Valley has been home to beams of unexplained light. They've ranged in color from red to yellow and white, and sparked particular interest during the period from 1981 to 84 when they started to appear much more frequently. During that time, research institutions from around the region began Project Hestalen, which hasn't really been able to come up with any explanation for this curious site. It's thought to be connected to extraterrestrial activity. Devil's Kettle Falls, Minnesota. At first glance, this is an unremarkable Brule River. It flows through the local Magny State Park on the north shore of Lake Superior. It's dropping from a height of 800 feet and creates numerous waterfalls, and one of these waterfalls is rather strange. Before the river flows into the lake, it splits into two flows by a rock. And the eastern flow falls from a 50-foot height and continues flowing towards the lake, while the western flow falls into the giant pothole, the Devil's Kettle, and disappears. No one knows where the water flows further. Presumably, the exit point should be somewhere below or below the lake, but it has not yet been discovered. The theory of groundwater has also been disproved, since the formation of such waters occurs exclusively in soft rocks such as limestone, and the geology of the northern shore is not soft. At the moment, any research in this unique place is prohibited. The Potomsky Crater Next up, we're crossing back to Siberia for a look at another bizarre natural phenomenon. The Potomsky Crater is also known as the Fire Eagle Nest or Potom Crater and is situated in a remote region of Irkutsk in the southeast. It's notable, first of all, for its bizarre appearance. Right slap bang in the middle of a densely forested region lies this particular structure, a mound of limestone with a rounded dome 130 feet high. Estimates suggest it's about 300 years old, and despite intense scrutiny, nobody really understands what it is. The Boiling River the Chenay Tempishko, also known as La Bamba, is a tributary of the Amazon River, called the only boiling river in the world. It is four miles long, and it is known for the very high temperature of its waters from 45 to 100 degrees Celsius, or 113 to 212 Fahrenheit. According to scientists, this stretch of water is unique in that it is non-volcanic, the usual reason for water such as these. There are believed to be geothermal reasons for the heat, shared by two other bodies nearby, but Nobody can really say exactly why. The Crooked Forest. Near the Polish town of Gryfino, there's a grove of pine trees that are definitely all kinds of abnormal. They're growing, or have been manipulated, in the most peculiar fashion. As with so many strange cases, all kinds of theories have been suggested, but nobody really knows why the trees look like this. Magnetic Hill. This time, we're looking at a phenomenon that isn't exclusive to a particular place. There are so-called gravity hills all around the world, from Guatemala's Paso Misterioso to India's famous magnetic hill in Ladakh. Whichever one you visit, the optical illusion tends to be the same. Cars will appear to be rolling backwards, water will seem to flow uphill, all sorts of odd things. It's all very mysterious, and while theories about the horizon and visual points of reference being off make perfect sense, many prefer to believe that there's something supernatural about these places. So, what do you think about these mysterious phenomena? Be sure to share your opinion in the comments down below, and don't forget to push like if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.